I'm going to tell you the story of the hero's journey and how the tavern is key to this storytelling structure. Oh yes, and I'm also going to share how you might be able to use this structure when it comes to your own life or brand. The hero's journey has many manifestations in our cultural stories, but there are some standard elements across all of them. A hero can be on their journey for physical or spiritual reasons. We can think of the Hollywood hero who is trying to stop something from happening. Think Armageddon. Or Deep Impact. Was there a difference? Their journey moves them from an often uninterested, even reluctant character at first, to one that through the journey becomes the hero that the planet needs. There can be another physical version of this story, where the hero sacrifices themselves for the greater good. Think Jin and the other characters in Star Wars Rogue One, or Tony Stark in Avengers, or going back a little further, Spock sacrificing himself by entering the irradiated engine room as he saves the Enterprise. But why am I sharing the hero story with you? Why do we believe the hero journey is so important? And why is a channel which normally talks about founder stories, design and brand making this video? Well, founding stories and branding has got a lot of similarities to a hero's journey. While the previous examples of heroes in Hollywood make it seem impossible for us to live up to these grand achievements, the hero's journey can be much simpler. We could say that we are all on our own hero's journey. Granted, we might fight very different monsters Monsters, but our journeys revolve around listening to ourselves and not giving up, fighting our demons and not giving in to the dark side. Just like Luke resists his father, so these demons could be as simple as getting out of bed or going for that run or eating the right food. It might be being true to yourself and deciding to change career. Or for brands, it could be stepping up to respond to the change you want to see in the world. Your brand experience being a journey toward that goal. And this journey allows for a transformation of our consciousness or business practice. And this transformation is tested through trials and revelations on that journey. Now, not all hero journeys have to be physical. Many are about our state of mind. They are journeys of the mind. If we think about many of the religious stories of the world, the hero is at the center of temptation through a series of trials. Temptations for Christ, for example, centered around the devil testing him on the subjects of power, wealth, and spirit. The Buddha had a similar a set of temptations. Three just like Christ, but the Buddhas were the temptations of lust, fear, and social duty. There are also hero stories that were told to encourage the idea of exploration. If we read about some of the old Celtic mythology, they're often centered around the idea of the unknown. The hunter is lured into the unknown forest by a deer, only for the deer to transform into the forest queen. This hero's journey is about exploring the mysteries of human life. Its story is about moving into the unknown. So again, if we think about your personal development or that of your company and its brand, the hero's journey provides us with clues as to how we might travel into that unknown. And this is where the tavern enters stage right. I said the tavern should enter stage right. When our hero doesn't know where to go, what did they do? Where did Luke and Obi-Wan go? Where did Sam, Frodo, Meridoc and Peregrine go? That's right, they went to the tavern to find people who might be able to help. They were looking for guidance and other heroes with the skills to help them continue their journey. Again, for the brand and us personally, it's about community and the help they can provide. Finding people who can support you in your endeavor to change the world in the way that you want. The question for us is where's our tavern for our challenge? So what do you think? What hero journey are you on? And if you're not yet on one, what do you think it could be? Let us know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the fable. Do give us a like and do consider subscribing. We post videos nearly every week about founders, stories, design, design thinking, brand and digital. Thanks again and see you in the next one.